Hello, everybody, and welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. We are in our guest segment today, and we have our special guest from Fitchrona EMS. It is Deputy Chief Jeff Doslick. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming back. My pleasure. Well, we appreciate you coming on as always. And as always, you've brought some really uh, crucial, important information yep. and uh, sort of a sort of a neat thing uh, that I haven't seen yet. So I'm excited to share it with everybody. Uh, this is a, a, a form that we're dealing with called Helpful Information for First Responders When Assisting Persons with Dementia. But you have kind of a, a little tighter of a name for it. Right. The purple tube. So uh, what is this all about? I know it's part of the Dementia Friendly Initiative here yes. in Fitchburg. Uh, so just kind of walk us through what is this form for? Sure. So uh, Rock County has had a program in place for some time. They've called it the Purple Tube Project, where they visit uh, patients and families that have um, uh, family members or loved ones that have dementia or, mm -hmm. or Alzheimer's. Um, and in essence, they fill out this purple piece of paper. They roll it up. They put it in a purple tube put it in the refrigerator. Right. Um, we're going to do a little bit a different twist on that mm -hmm. um, instead of using a tube uh, which could get you know lost in the refrigerator or somebody doesn't look. Um, we're going to use the file for life and that is right. um, that is something that people really are aware of and that mm -hmm. we've used for some time. So in essence um, if people have those loved ones in their homes or they know somebody that has dementia or Alzheimer's they can contact us um, and you'll put the information up on on the screen here. Um, we will come out and do a home visit uh, fill out this piece of paper. Um, it's it's purple. It's kind of the signature mm -hmm. color for dementia. Um, we'll also fill out a file for life form. Put that in um, the purple piece of paper in the file for life uh, packet, and we'll stick that on your refrigerator. And then on the outside of the file for life packet, there is. Um, um, a sticker, which is kind of the dementia-friendly sticker sure. that uh, is kind of becoming known. Right. And we'll right. put that on the outside of the file for life. And so when first responders come in, um, police officers, firefighters, paramedics, uh, home health aides, they can come in and see that file for life with that purple sticker and know they're dealing with a dementia uh, patient. Right. Uh, so just to just kind of to take a, a glance at the form here, just some of the basic stuff that people might fill out on here so they kind of have an understanding of how it works. It, it's some really helpful stuff, sort of going over languages maybe that people speak um, and then just some other crucial, you know, medical information, right. things like that. So some of it's probably a little bit redundant mm -hmm. with the file for life information that we, that we do. Um, but there are some things, uh, questions in here is what is the most difficult time of day for me? Um, and that way, if there is an incident that goes on and it falls within that category of, you know, 1 to 3 p.m. or mornings, that the first responder kind of has an idea that maybe this is a dementia-related issue, uh, maybe not so much a medical-related mm -hmm. issue. Um, do I wander? Um, I can be left alone for short periods of time. And a lot of this will come into play if, um, you know, if somebody's upset and maybe the police department gets called for you know loud neighbors sure. and they see that this is a dementia patient they can look at the piece of paper and know that this that she's upset or he's upset what's upsetting them and how to communicate with them um, and it just makes for a better uh, patient care scenario i think yeah i i think it's a really it's obviously a very important uh an issue you guys are taking on Thank you. um it's, it's a great form. It's really helpful, and I think it's just really neat. Uh, th this whole dementia-friendly Fitchburg initiative is fantastic, and you guys are putting a lot of work into it, yes. and I think it shows a lot of care. Uh, and Thank again, you. just to reiterate, if people do want to get a hold of this information, uh, they contact you. How yes. can they do that? Um, so if you have somebody that you know or a loved one at home, uh, you can contact me at jeffd at fitchronaems.com. You can call the office, 497-2951. And uh, we'll set up a time. One of our community paramedics will come out, either Christy or Sarah or myself. We'll come out and sit down for maybe 15, 20 minutes, a half hour, and just go over the form, kind of the process of what happens if we get called, um, and, and you know, do a follow-up maybe you know, three, four months later to see if anything's changed. Um, and um, I, I guess that would be the best way to do it. That's awesome. Fantastic. It's a great uh, form of support that you guys are offering Thank there. You. Uh, so, yeah, if you uh, have need for this or have someone in your family or life that is in need for this, make sure you reach out, contact Fitchrona EMS, and uh, get them set up with this super awesome form. Uh, Jeff, thanks again for coming in, getting the information out. We're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to come back and wrap up the show here on Talking Fitchburg.